Hi guys, so let's now look at our second efficiency ratio and that is of course trade payables days. Okay, so when it comes to the trade payable, you want to uh, try to make sure that you're maintaining a good reputation with your suppliers or creditors as they're also known and that you are trying to pay them within the actual time frame that they expect to be paid. Okay, so this ratio measures the average number of days for the business to pay its suppliers or creditors. It's calculated simply by taking the trade payables figure and dividing that by the credit purchases and then multiplying 365 because of course the calculation tells us how many days it takes. So if a business has cash flow problems, it may need longer to pay and it may be extending or it may be uh, paying uh, in days much further than the actual credit terms allow. So for instance, if you're allowed 28 days and you're taking 52, well, clearly that may illustrate cash flow problems for the business because they are having difficulty in actually meeting their obligations to their creditors. Okay, so where we've got trade payables here, we've got 5,000 as a nice simple example of a calculation we could run on this. So we've got 5,000 credit purchases amount to 45,000 for the year. Okay, so if we take this information and then multiply that by 365, well that would give us a figure of, uh, yeah, it's around about 40 days there, okay? So that tells us that this given business is taking 40 days to actually pay its suppliers or creditors and therefore if they're only getting credit terms of 28 or 30 days, uh, this may suggest that they might have some cash flow difficulties. Okay, and of course there's a need to actually improve the cash flow situation of the business then. All right, great stuff guys. See you on the next one.